so my dear viewers my greetings and also my wishes to all of you watching my videos that is jacinta spoken english videos and today now we are going to have a sample of a spoken english class with my students so let us pay attention to it just for 20 or 25 minutes so we will start with today with a basic grammar that is b forms so let us have the heading of b forms it is b forms so b forms are very useful you know it i think is it not b forms means am is was are and were these are the five verbs which are basically needed for speaking english when i say i am a teacher am is there is it not uh, you are my students are is there so for everything he 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 is coming now is for he we use is my friend is approaching the center I, again there is an is the dog is moving about it the dog is we say it as it you know so the all these are the usual items which are needed for our uh, spoken english when we talk about daily activities when suppose we describe to our friend you know this morning uh, i got up at 5 am so i was watching tv so watch is there that is also b form no i was watching so b form uh, i was drinking coffee around 7 am so in that way whatever we talk should have b forms we have b forms if we are thorough with b forms that is quite enough for spoken english you know in english what is very much needed is first nouns no what is it nouns means all the names of items not what we see what is it? finger is a noun ring is a noun kerchief is a noun Ch chair is a noun table is a noun wall is a noun this uh, rotary community center is a noun nagar koil is a noun chennai is a noun is not so all these are nouns which we see around us which are with us eyes nose rings hands legs desk bench paper pen notebook earrings key everything is a noun so without nouns we can't speak at all no that is one thing and for every one nouns easily we can learn there won't be much uh, difficulty no when we know the names of things the wall the picture the um, the notice board everything is a noun we will know but to use them no about me when i say jacinta is a teacher so what is needed is next thing is what is b form verb b, b form verb is very important after nouns when we know the verbs only we will be able to speak my uh, son is sleeping sin is is there is sleeping is the verb so nouns and verbs are very important so in english we have the names as content words content words that means they give the matter nouns and verbs only usually give the matter is it not when we say about anything uh, it's a new uh, desk desk is a noun uh, is is a verb that is what is very important there new is again an adjective something more about the desk is it not what is more important is only noun and verb next to nouns and verbs we have to give importance to adverbs and adjectives you know what are adjectives adjectives are the words which tell us more and more about the nouns it's a new sari sari is a noun new is an adjective i have a new pen pen is a noun new is a adjective it tells us something about the pen it is a costly uh, car about the car something description is costly that is what is the adjective everything which we describe about the nouns are called as adjectives that is also needed when we talk you know when we talk to my other friend this is a beautiful pen he is a handsome man usually for man we say handsome i have uh, uploaded one video about it for men we say handsome for women we say beautiful it's all adjective for children we babies and all we say charming babies you know for boys little boys we say he is a mischievous boy he is a naughty child 
so all these are what is it adverb and ad, sorry adjectives they tell us something more about nouns is it not it's a gold chain chain is a noun gold is something describing the chain so it is what is that it is a adjective when we know nouns we know all of us know the na names of things mostly we know correct words even if we don't know we can look into the dictionary or ask someone what is the name of it in english and we will know it very well you understand we know we will, we will know the nouns that is names of things very well but uh, how to use it where to use it and all only we must know little of grammar you not know, names of things nouns then verbs also are needed when we describe anything what we when we got up at 5 am i brushed my teeth that is brushed is what it is a verb brush when we say it is a noun you understand i brushed my teeth means it is an action you know so it is what is called as verb verbs means actions i brushed my teeth i cleaned the floor floor is noun cleaned is what verb it's an action word that is what is called as verb so when we know the names of things and when we know the verbs we can easily talk and to put them properly only we must know the b forms otherwise simply we can say as i said now i brush my teeth at 7 am and i clean the room after that then i got ready and put on my dress put on put is a, what is another verb no it has got another word added to that that is all called a phrasal verb sir so that is little more about it simply i put on the dress i got ready i entered the bus i entered my auto i entered my car so entered is what verb i entered my car car is a noun i entered an auto auto is a noun entered is the action word you understand it's an it's it tells us about the action so to speak english to talk english that's what i the other day already i told you we, even if you are not going to give speeches at least to talk at home with our children when our children ask us to about the homework or even our neighboring child comes and ask how to fill in it what is it when you ask you cannot say i don't know no you must know little things so at least for that let us know little little matters few little matters in english which will always help us when you know little you will have confidence no you know the meaning of confidence yes when we have when we have confidence when we have trust in ourselves we will freely begin to talk is it not even our own language our own mother tongue all of us speak with lot of mistakes only is it not we don't speak correctly at all grammatically our our own mother tongue we don't talk correctly but we have confidence that we will manage that is why we are talking all rubbish in our own mother tongue but english when we talk start talking we have a fear we have a hesitation we have a feeling that we don't know much so when you come across it when you feel confident that i can manage you will start speaking and then it will go on and on without end no even if the sentence is not very correct you can start speaking if there is anyone to correct you will correct or even you can go through now we have got online even google so many matters are there if you go through you can correct you will be able to talk so just understand first nouns and verbs and how to put them and all that is what we b forms we need i um, this, can you give me some sentences one or two sentences with any b form am is the am will not make any problem is it not it is always for i but present tense i am sitting on the chair i am listening to english i am sleeping i am dreaming i am imagining i am writing no all these we say with i no it is always am present tense is always am have you all got one or two sentences with am yes i am a student i am 30 years old i am 20 years old all these are with i always i am no change at all there won't be change at all for i am always with i and that too what is it uh, present tense all of us know present tense now what happens now i am a teacher i am a student i am learning english i am watching tv i am sleeping i am dreaming i am eating i am drinking a cup of coffee i am uh, tasting the alba 
So I am drawing a picture, I am painting the picture, all these are what we do now. Is it not? That is am. Then was is for past tense. I was sleeping last night when my friend came home. I was sleeping. I was doing my record work when my friend called me. I was last night. I was making a cup of coffee. No, that is past tense. This was. You know, last year I was a student. But this year, no. I have completed my studies. So last year I was a student. I was going to my college with happily with my friends. I was going. That is past tense. With I we always have was. Then with he and she. For, for a man. No, he is a painter. He was painting very correctly. Last evening or last yesterday fully he was painting very neatly. Painting our walls very neatly. That is was. My friend was enjoying with me. That is also was. You know third person singular. Have you studied the first person you know? I and we. Second person is always you. Whether singular, you are a student. You are all students. Singular also are only, plural also are. And you only is for singular and plural. You are coming from Putteri. You. You are all here from uh, 10 o'clock. You understand? For singular person also, what is it? You only. For many, for 5 or 10 or 20 or 100 or 1000, it is you only. And R is the present tense used for one person or for the whole group. For 1000 or 10,000 people, we can say you are listening to me. You are sitting. You are looking at the blackboard. You are enjoying the TV. You understand? You is for one person or for all. That is the second person who is in front of us. Then for he, she, you know, he is for male persons. Babu, Jacob, for anybody. No? He, she is for girls. No? Any name, Lakshmi, Parvati or anybody. When we say it is she. That is all singular. And is is for present tense. Was is for past tense. And you understand? Plural is are. They are. They are singing. They are sleeping. The uh, cats and the dogs are playing. The cats and the dogs are playing. That is also they only. For man also when they plural mean they only. For women also when they are in plural we use only they. You understand when it is uh, um, even for cats and dogs and monkeys we use only they when they are plural. For men also we use only they. For women also when they are in plural we call them as they only. You understand third person singular is he, she and it. It means referring to the bench, desk, pen, pencil, dog, monkey, cat, kitten. For a, not kitten. Kitten is plural. For cat, dog, for everything we use only it. You understand? When they are in plural, that is for many men, for many boys. The boys are enjoying cricket. Uh, the uh, women, the girls are uh, playing with a uh, playing with the piano. They are listening to the music. For everything we say, are for present tense. For past tense, what is it? Where? You understand? If you don't understand, you can ask me because. We are just learning spoken English, simple English only, not for your examination. Is it not? We are just trying to develop what you have studied. All of you have studied in school level and college level. Is it not? Maybe you have not paid attention. As I told you, even if you are not going to appear on the stage and speak in English, at least to help your children at home later on when you get married and when you have get your children. When they ask you, when they are in LKG, even now they learn a lot. Is it not? They learn a lot even when they are in the first standard. So it is better to know what is a noun, what is a verb, what is an adjective, what is an adverb. I just told you about adjective. Now little more about adverb. Because these are the four words which are named as content words. 
you know in the composition notebooks you would have studied in the first page we write date serial number and contents you remember composition note first page we write that is it not even when i was a student we had been writing is it not yes you we write the serial number date then the center big place what do you do content that means matter so these four words uh, nouns verbs adjectives and adverbs and all they are called as the content words because they give us an idea is it not ah, i went to the uh, that new house when we say new no that is what is the descriptive word simply when we say house it is meaningless when we say new it is it adds to the meaning is it not that is why it is called as content words then verbs when we describe more she speaks beautifully she dances gently she sings melodiously melodiously beautifully uh, slowly fastly quickly all these are called as adverbs they tell us more and more about verbs so first let us be thorough with nouns verbs adjectives and adverbs just at home when you are free just spend 10 or 15 minutes thinking about all these and try to form some words and when i come just tell me what what is it how you have understood how, whether you are able to make sentences whether you are able to talk with your friends freely little little not freely can't start all on a sudden is it not little only we can do and little little more we can do go step by step to have good spoken english okay so okay is it enough for today bye bye for today